Hello again. You ready to have another go at some phonics? I haven't got many clues for you yet today. Um, one clue was that Shape Shop Sam can't be here today because he's been in the garden. He got really, really muddy and he needed a bath. Mm, little clue there. Okay, here goes. Let's sing our song. Come and listen, listen to me. Listen to my A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X, Y and Z. You're doing so well with your phonics, I can tell. I wish I could give you all a sticker, because you're stars. I didn't rhyme today, but I really just wanted to say you're doing really, really well. And here's a sticker. Well done. Thumbs up. There's another clue. You're doing really well. Good job. Okay, so that was our alphabet song. Just a quick heads up to mummies or daddies or whoever may be watching with you. The reason I slow down in the middle of the alphabet song is to avoid the elemena. Do we have any letters, children, called elemena? Do we have any words that are elemena? Mm -mm. So we slow right down in that middle bit just for that reason, so we can really hear the letter names. Okay, so let's have a go at revisiting some sounds. Now there's two sounds up here that we've already done. One sound that we used in our long word chimpanzee. In fact, there's two sounds up there that we used in chimpanzee. Three sounds! You're right, who spotted that there were three? Fantastic thumbs up to you. Really good. There's, there are three sounds in there that we used in the word chimpanzee last time. Let's see if we can spot them as we go along. So here we go, first time graph. Good job. My turn. Ch your turn. Fantastic. My turn. Shh. Your turn. My turn. E. Your turn. Okay, here we go. My turn. W your turn. Careful not to say were. That's a word. My turn. W your turn. Funny old one, this one. My turn. Kss, your turn. Didn't see that so well, did you? Kss, like the X factor. My turn. Zzz, your turn. Well done. Did you spot the three sounds that we used in chimpanzee? Yeah, it was. We had ch at the beginning, didn't we? When we wrote chimpanzee and we had zzz, e at the end. Well done. Okay, so I've been giving you thumbs up. Shape Shop Sam has had to go and have a bath. So I wonder what sound we may be thinking, thinking about today. Have you guessed? It's the only time you're allowed to stick your tongue out at the teacher. Have you guessed? Yeah, well done. Here it is. It's the sound. Now the reason I've shown you that before we do our tricky word practice is because one of our tricky words has that sound at the start. It's this one, isn't it? The. But you'll notice that it's very, very quiet in that sound. It's, well, more difficult to hear than in some of the words that we're going to be looking at. So the. But you can see that my tongue is still sticking out at the beginning. So did you remember this tricky word? The. Well done. It's why it makes it tricky to spell, really. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Can you remember this one? Good job. My turn. I. Your turn. Thumbs up. My turn. Two. Your turn. I'm going to jazz it up this time. This time we're going to have this one first. My turn. Go. Your turn. Fantastic. 
fantastic. And the last one, which one is it? Can you remember which one we haven't done yet? It's N O spells. Well done. No. Fantastic job. Well done. So our sound, our digraph, two letters, one sound, our digraph is that sound can be thick or thin. So you'll notice that you're, sometimes when you say some words with in it, your tongue will be sticking out a little bit further than with other words. But it's just handy that we remember that this sound is the one where you can stick your tongue out at the teacher. So we're not going v, we're not going f, we're sticking our tongues out. How rude! <laughs> Fantastic, really good. Okay, let's have a go at using my magic pen to write this sound. Now you'll notice that both of these letters are tall because they have big sticks in them. So we're going to start at the top of the T. So in a digraph we would say that we're writing the T and the H. We say the letter names when we're doing digraphs. So here we go with our T. We're going to go down, down, down. Flick and take your pen off for the cross. Well done. It's turned my red letter orange today. Let's have a go at the next one. We're going to start at the top. We're going to go down for the H. Up. Over and flick. There we have it. Fantastic. Now I have my mystery bag here with me. And I've got some objects that I found around the house to put in my mystery bag. I wonder what you could find today that begins with a sound. Let's have a look and see what I found. Should we sing our song? Mystery bag, what's inside? What is it you try to hide? Is it a word? object or a sound what is it what have we found they look like feet well feet begins with a f let's pull on these feet and see who it is what could it be some armour. Oh, what could it be? Who could it be? Oh, I know who this is. This is the superhero Thor. Fantastic. Wow. Thor has come to help us with our sound today. What a brilliant sound for the start of your name, Thor. What else is in this bag? Let's have a look. Hmm. I'm digging around. Oh. What's this? Does anybody know? Well, one of Thor's friends may be the Black Panther. But this isn't the superhero Black Panther. This is a Black Panther. Why have I found that one? Has it got a th in it? Yeah, in the middle of the word panther. Panther. So it's in the middle of the word. Fantastic. What else have we got in here? Mm. Oh, have you remembered to use this this morning? It's a toothbrush. That's a really fun word to see if you can spell. A bit like we did chimpanzee. We have to try and use our syllables for this one. So toothbrush. See if you can have a go. And we use it to brush our teeth. So two words. And what do you use on this part of your toothbrush? Do you put shampoo on there? 
I hope not. Ugh, that would be yucky. I hope you put toothpaste on there. Wow, that's a lot of words with a sound. Toothbrush, toothpaste and teeth. Fab. What else is in here? Oh, a magnetic number. What could it be? Could it be one? Mm -mm -mm. Could it be two? Mm -mm -mm. Could it be? Yay! It is. It's number three. 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 I'm going to hide it now. And I want you to have a go at writing the number three. Make sure you get it the right way round and see if you can write the word three underneath it. Give you a clue, it's got two bumps in it, hasn't it, the number three. Last thing in my bag is a cloth. Where does the th sound come in cloth? Is it the beginning? Middle? End? Cloth. Cloth. Fantastic. I wonder what you might find around your house that has the sound in it. Thank you for your help, Thor. You found some really good objects. I particularly like the toothbrush one because that came up with lots of other words around it, didn't it? Fantastic. Right, so there's some something you can do. Go and find some th objects. Have a go at writing words to match the objects that I found and have a go at writing the number three and the word three. I've got a little activity now for us to have a go at. And this is something you can do now with me or you can do it after you've watched. Okay, mummies and daddies, whoever's watching with you might be able to think of some other words that they could do this with. So all I've done is I've taken away the digraphs that we've been looking at. So the digraphs that are going to go in those spaces will either be ch, sh or so this is going to check to see if you remember them and to see if I remember them too. I always love to have your help, don't I? Okay, so here goes. Right, let's have a little look. So, the first object that I wanted to write about was this one. It's a beautiful shell. So up here we've got e o. What's missing? Is it ch? Chell? Is it th? Fell? You know, don't you? It's sh for shell. So we're going to write that in that space. Here we go. So on this line, I'm going to see if I can remember my shell. Sh for shell. It was a s and a h. An s and an h for the sh sound in shell. Do you agree? Should we give it a tick? So tick, down, up. Fantastic. Okay, my next one. Want, I wanted it to be chick. Chick. So what digraph do I need? Which one's missing? Is it sh, ch or th? Let me think. I need ch in there. And ch was a C and an H. Let's check. Ch, ik, chick. Well done. What would I need to add to that word, chick, to make it chicken? Have a go. See if you can do it. 
And lastly, my final one was for the cloth. So which digraph is missing? Now you'll notice that the sound is not at the beginning this time, the one that's missing, it's at the end. So what could it be? K, u, o. I can see myself sticking my tongue out. So it must be the sound that we did today. A T and an H for So we can give that a T. Fantastic, well done. See if you can have a go at an activity like that. Or you could test whoever's been watching with you and see if you can write some of these words with missing digraphs in them. And then the person that's been watching has to try and fill it in. That would be fun. You guys be the teacher. See if you can remember the sounds or see if your adult can remember them. Well done. You've done such a good job with all of those sounds. We've done ch, sh. And, and we've practiced them in our final activity. Well done. So last up is some words for you to read at the end. So I'll hold it up. And you can press pause and have a go at reading those. And also, those are words that you might hear a lot. Lots of adults are doing a lot of talking at the moment. Lots of this of talking, lots of thinking, and you might hear the wor those words used quite a lot. I wonder how many times. Quite common. Common words. Here we go. I'll hold them up for you one last time, and I'll see you soon. Bye.